Hey guys, this is Tor here from the TC Laboratories, our incredibly messy guitar video room that we have behind you, filled with all sorts of goodies. And today it's filled with one more goodie, Tom Lang from TC Helicon. Wow, I feel like a goodie, that's great. Uh, well, Tor, I think today we're going to show your friends in TC Electronic Land the Voice Live 3, because not only is it a great vocal processor, it's also an incredible guitar processor, multi-effects uh, processor with some of your tone print pedals yes. inside and a looper and a looper Let's and not forget that. amp modeling as well amp modeling as well so today we thought we'd sort of uh, sort of recreate uh Tora's favorite guitar sounds that he would use at a gig and uh let's start with this one right here number 15 high end pedal number or negative five that is the name of a vocal effect it's on. It doesn't have anything to do with the guitar effect. We'll give it another name later. Yeah, and you guys will probably be able to download them afterwards if you think it doesn't sound sure. incredibly horrible. No, I think it's going to sound incredibly wonderful. I think so too. Let's go there now. Yeah. So, so play something. Yeah, I mean, I think this sound is like a good all-round, just a good amp sound. Yep. Uh, not too much effect, not too bright, not too... Um... Let's look at what amp is set up in that yeah. one. That is the chicken picker. Oh. So okay. it's the chicken picker, but dialed in a little bit more. Dialed with a, a little bit more extra pre-gain, because if you go back to the style, it probably doesn't have that much pre-gain in no. it. And looking at, the, looking at the little graphics there, I would say the chicken picker is sort of like your Fender... Perhaps. Something. Something like that yeah. that's, that's just borderline not yeah. copywritten. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, so here we go. I'll try to play something. Touch sensitive too, actually, with that guitar. So you can see that the light is on for the modulation here. And in the modulation tab, we've got, ah, look at that. That is Corona, Corona chorus. chorus. We can turn it up, we can turn it yeah. down, we can pick a faster one. It's really oh. easy to uh, edit this because you've got style and level. Yeah. If you want to go down and adjust more parameters, of course, we've got tons more. But um, on this one, let's just stay with the style. Or turn it up. This, this one's from the Vortex Flanger. And when it says 12 o'clock here, that means all the knobs on Vortex Flanger were set at the center o'clock. position. Which, coincidentally, is actually what we do a lot with the tone print stuff. So we try to make the sound so that everything sounds good at 12 o'clock and then we can kind of exactly. take it from there. Yeah. That way the users can get what you developed it to be and then they can vary from there. Yeah, so of exactly. course you go down. Now this is something you could use all night. Yes, you'd have a happy not, audience. Yeah, not really. Ah! Sounds like the uh, old living color thing. Nice. And this is, uh, now we're getting into sort of more TC Helicon territory where we've added some silky detune. We've got plus or minus six cents. It's not only detune, it's actually silky detune. Yeah, it's silky. Uh, it's an extra little layer of uh, fairy dust that we added on it. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, of course. get the idea that at the styles that you have for this the, the number of styles go beyond the tone prints into like insane land I mean yeah. try this one um. Plus you can adjust the speed on that and, and then if we want to go crazy Ooh, yes. Anyway, let's go back where we started. Doink, we're back. Okay, so we wanted to add the, um, we wanted to add it an effect so that when you kick it in for the solo, it's suitably impressive, yeah. right? Yes. And so for that, you would need. I need a bit of drive. Okay. Obviously. Let's start with drive. You notice that there's a, there's a actually a switch down here called drive that engages an effect that has a couple of parameters pre-gain and post-gain. So you can have it just so that it's just a boost, just same yep. sound only louder, yep. or you can add a whole bunch of gain to the amp yep. 
Yeah. So, so of course, pre-gain would be uh, the equivalent of a boost pedal or a drive pedal hitting yeah. the amp harder, thus making it uh, distort more. Post-gain would be just making shit louder. Yeah. Can I say shit? You I just can. did. You just did. So anyway, you've got up to 60 dB of pre-gain here, which is uh, not inco inconsequential. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Right, so that's yeah. on and off. So our levels, you're probably gonna for your solo, you're gonna want a little bit more level, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, so make that a little bit louder. But of course, you're gonna want some compression, perhaps. Yeah, a little bit. Just, I mean, not necessarily to add like um, compression in that kind of country or funk way, but okay. just basically to kind of simulate the amp sagging a little bit when you hit it harder. Oh, okay, you mean like, like subtle tube? Is yes, one of the styles would, we have that for would that. Be so. Lovely. his big solo sound you have to kick in these two things unless you've got a really wide foot you don't want to do that so what we'll do is we'll configure the hit button so that when you press it it'll activate these two things yes so in the hit control setting we'll make hit on for the compressor and for the drive we'll set that to hit on Ooh. and then let's see if there's anything else on hit right now nothing else on hit um, so we're not gonna, you know, by accident turn on an octave or something insane. So, doink. And that's what's cool about the hit button is you can turn on all of the effects at once if you want. So you can, it's as if you had a pedal board and you just had a huge foot and just stomped on your entire pedal board to make that really big. Which we do all the time. Actually, what we do all the time is doing all these crazy tap dancing things. So this is actually really handy. That's right. So this actually is gonna make you a bit lazy because you're only gonna hit one button at a time yeah. now. Anyway, but so that's how so we So I could that. actually add, let's say I wanted to add a bit of reverb when I hit that as well, I could do that just for this. No, it doesn't do that. Ah, it does. I just ah. kidding. I was making a joke. <laughs> Okay, so. Oh, interestingly enough, it's a Hall of Fame. Oh, that's a good sounding pill. Okay, so let's turn up the level a bit. Which which one do you like? Whoops, not that one. Uh, uh, let's, spring, try the, uh, let's try the. Let's try Yeah, room. Back it down a bit because. You know. Yep. Is that a little bit loud, or do you like your solos actually that much louder? That's okay. Okay. And actually, interestingly enough, you saw how I was um, setting this control to hit plus. It's just as easy to do it this way. Boom, boom. Now micromotor on with the hit. Now they're off with the hit off. And you don't want to do that. Or if you wanted him to come off, to, to come on. Yeah. When it's off, now ah, they're on. Oh my. So, check it. And now when we hit the hit button, big solo sound, no on the way. That is kind of cool. It, I have to say. Majorly that. cool. That is okay, let's, really cool. So, one more thing to say about this. Can you turn the... No, I can do that. There you go. So, I think one of the litmus tests for whether, you know, amp modeling sounds nice is whether you can actually use your volume now to kind of get a degree of different sounds. So, typically, I probably wouldn't even use the clean sound. I'll just use this and I'll and, use my volume now to actually get the different sounds. Okay. So, you know, for... And it has a really nice response, I think. I like digging in and actually feeling, you know, yeah. something. And it has that sound. So yep. if I do this, I can still get like... It's not totally clean, but you know, who plays totally clean anyway? So. Whatever. We'll <laughs> go to a preset later that will be for like crystal and Yeah, clean. but this is probably as clean as I tell you. Not bad. That's actually pretty nice. It is nice. Yeah, that's good. So let's save that as... Uh, there it is. There it is. These will be available for download after the show. 
Okay, so then uh, what would you like to work on next? Um, let's try something super clean just because now we've done like the the little bit murky, or not murky, but uh, yeah, you know, yeah. kind of uh, all round, slightly darker kind of sound. So let's Very try good. something that's, it's not something I do a lot, but let's try something a little bit more country, ice pick in the forehead type sounds. Oh, we got that, baby. Previously, Tor and I favorited a few of the pre presets we liked by pressing this button. Then when you set the genre to favorite, and you press the preset up and down or you search, you only find the ones that you wanted to see. Because there's like, you can put up to 500 presets in this thing and if you load it full, it'll take you a long time to go through them when yes. you only want those specific ones. So this is one of those really super clean, super mm. spacey things that might work really nicely with a telly. Let's see. Let's see. And we got the whole kitchen sink turned on on that one. Yes. So let's see what we've got in that one. We got the UK Clean amp, which is a, a brighter kind of thing. Very low pregain, so it's not so no. crunchy, but but a little bit. You can put just a little bit of pregain so that you don't hear distortion, but yeah. you actually get a little bit of yeah. the rounding of those transients. And what else we got? Modulation, delay. Okay, we've got ping pong for the delay. So give them a quick slap and it'll go ch -ch -ch in stereo that goes slaps uh, left and right. Except we're only using one, right? We're only monitoring one, but they're getting two at the, uh, uh, the in TV land. And actually, when you go stereo, it's got two outputs separate for the guitar. Normally, because this is a vocal processor, um, first and foremost, it has a main set of XLRs that yeah. can go to the main. Yeah. And if you trust your sound person, you can mix the guitar sound into the XLRs. Ah. So there's only the two that go out there. But if you want to go out to a separate set, you've got your separate set yeah. of outfits here. Yeah. It's not as if we're reinventing stereo. <laughs> we will take that credit, but that's not what we're doing. You should actually. <laughs> and the compressor uh, is the sustained yeah. attack style. So that's nice. So do you want to add anything or take away or do you no, want to just No, let's try to take, because it? I think the, uh, oh, let's actually, this is pretty nice. Let's just. I'll turn it up a little bit. Can you bring like the it. delay uh, speed down a bit? You notice it went to tempo here. Now we can tap this and you can actually go like this. Check Okay. It. So now they'll be faster. Yeah. And we'll bring the feedback down a bit. So it's just one. Yeah. So can you make them like way slower? Yep, slower. Yeah. Show so I'd, le I'd like like 400 and 800 for the... For the that's better. So that's going yeah. left, right, left, right. And that's, uh, I see you guys have, uh, you call it filler style, but it's basically the delay types that we have on, uh, on uh, yes. flashback as well. Right. So for this type of stuff, when it's like clean, I kind of like tape echo style. And what that does is, that puts on, there's no low cut, but there's a high cut, yeah. a very gentle yeah. curve as starting at 1K. Can you put some low cut on it as well? Yeah, sure. We'll make it like uh, 150 or something. Maybe. Here, well, let's raise um, this up a bit. Yeah, I, li I like to get it more nasally, so mid rangey. So. That's better. Yep. And anytime you're playing with a band, of course, especially with something that's specifically timed like this, you're always going to want to go. Of course. Yeah. You know. And what's cool about this is if you don't want to hold the delay button in order to get into tap tempo, you could modify the step button, for example, to be your tap tempo button available in any preset at any time. And that's what I do. So that I just go. With the song, I just reach over and go tap, tap. I don't have to go hold, tap, Oh, tap, you just, tap. okay, yeah. cool, yeah. The cool thing nice. about it is all these buttons can be remapped to anything you want. So these don't have to be modulation, delay, and re reverb. They could be wah-wah, stutter, and chopper. I just set it to tremolo. Okay, let's make this a tour two. Done.
Done and done, done, done and done. Okay. So now we had like the super affected kind of clean one. Can we try to do one where it's more just clean? I've got Cali clean. That's, yes. And we, there, and on the reverb, we've probably got spring. We've got the Hall yep. of Fame spring. Let's hit that up a bit just because we can. I wish I could just bash this thing so it would go Yep, yep, yep. So d did you say you wanted more like? Yeah, a little bit more reverb. Okay. I'm actually, it, when I say I, this is one I programmed. Um, I'm, I'm using the delay to make a bit of spring too. It's, oh yeah. It's going spoink as well. Yeah. And then you add that to the reverb. And then you get. Now that's as clean as it gets. That's you know, fine. You could it's put a little comp on there if you wanted to. I would love some comp. I was okay, just so thinking let's... about that. And let's really make it, uh, let's squash it. Oh. Can do. So hold a single note. Later that same day. So and of course, like anything, you got the style and the amount, but then we've got attack time and release. And makeup game. So there's off. Actually, we'll turn the makeup game down a little bit. Love it. I love it. You know, I would have never taken Toro for a country picker, but I think he's been studying. No, I studied three licks for this video. <laughs> <laughs> he's a closet country yeah. picker. <laughs> so let's make let's do something fun. Can what? we? Oh, one okay. more thing. So for. So for this kind of thing, it'd be cool to also be able to add the drive just when you want to, with like a little bit of overdrive, just to get it that kind of grit. Yep. Okay. So, let's you know. see what the drive's set to now. Of course, it has style. So let's just let's try drive. Yeah. Nice. And the beauty of this, you can you can turn these on and off individually. We won't bother with doing the whole sort of hit button on this one. No. Good. So let's add a little chorus in there. Just just put something in there so yep. that if you want to turn it on, it's yeah. there. Um, and the chorus currently is set to uh, where did I put it? This is a this is just a great style, this Corona course, twelve knobs at twelve o'clock. So you can turn that on when you want to in this preset. I know what we'll do. We'll make the hit button. We'll make the hit button turn off uh, the delay and reverb. Yeah. Actually, we'll make it so it's on, and then when you turn it off, it, the, the delay and reverb will go away. There you go. That'll make it really cool, because then you can get rid of that real spanky reverb if you want to. And so the focus is on, on how clean you can pick that yeah, part. Yeah, which is not very clean at all. <laughs> okay, so we've made a great preset here. What have we stored it? There we go. It does sound quite nice, though. Yeah, I'm liking it. That's Torah 3, folks. Okay, so what are we doing now? Yeah, enough of all that clean stuff. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's try some metal kind of things. Shred because testing. I kind of like that, and then we can always do it like a lead sound afterwards. So we did favorite one we thought was close to what we liked, and that's called Puppet Master. So that is the scooped amp style. Yeah. Which we like for that kind of thrashy, yeah, metallic stuff. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Well, let's, let's show the folks how deep you can go. So in the amp model page, you can go down and see the first three tone controls are here. These are the post, low, mid, and high. Yep. 
And then there's the pre, which is what configures the shape of the drive, uh, the frequency of the drive, and then lots and lots more. Whoa. Um, we've got amp sag there. It gives you a little bit of sort yeah. of pull back from uh, the spikes. Can you try removing the sag altogether? I want it, For that kind of stuff, I actually want it to be as... A little mm, punchier? As punchy as can okay. be. Okay. Let's hear it with the sack, just just for the. F it's Actually, more about the feel of it. I like the sack, so yeah, yeah. let's keep it. Going. Yeah. And here's your speaker emulator down here. We actually give you the controls of your speaker emulator. You can actually go in and, and see, you know, change where the roll off is and put a little spike at the end, which is like what speakers do. Um, and then uh, a little cut. So you can get your hands as dirty as you want to with this. And in fact, all the controls that we use to make these styles are in here. It's not like we've hidden some controls nope. and only given you on off. You know, you can go in there and make anything you want. And I have a lot of fun in there too. Let's add a little bit of a um, little bit of low end. Yes, a little less. <laughs> a little less. And a little bit of high end. Yes. A little bit more high end. A little bit trouble. Yes. Nice. I'm liking it. My I God. like it. Wow. Cool. There's a nice response to it. I mean, you kind of feel, I know there's no amp there, but you right. actually kind of feel that, that kind of uh, sensation you get when you, when you hit the strings and it kind of pushes back at you. Yeah, so I love that's that. Nice. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so we've got um, sort of a shreddy tone. What would you want access to in well, that Well, I mean, one? I, I probably like a, would never use that for, for like solos because it's too like, it's a little abrasive. So it's, right. nice, it's nice for rhythm where you want it to be aggressive and like in your face. But it's oh. not so super smooth for solos. Yep. So I would I would add some effects that I could uh, I could use to kind of make a riff stand out. So maybe flange, some, maybe flange, maybe yeah. an octaver, um, stuff like that. Maybe I don't you, know. Yeah. You want it? You got it. Okay. So let's look. And you know, for this stuff, let's make it super aggressive. Okay. That's pretty good. Already. Then make it as slow slower. as it can be. I want okay. it to kind of move through. That's... Oh, that's pretty intense. That's, that's we're... pretty slow. <laughs> we're killing the speaker. Yeah. Beep it too That's much. a bit much. Well, you want it a lot, man. Yes. So we'll... I'll tell you what, we'll bring the feedback back a little bit. That's where we're getting all that... So then, this is your, uh, that's your solo sound or whatever, right? Yeah. So you're just cu cording so, away. Yeah, go, so go, go, go. And here comes the solo, three, four, go. Do you want to add a, some kind of slap or kind of like modulated delay or anything on top of that? No? Probably not, but what could be fun to do would be to add a very, very short delay to just kind of... Yep get a, almost like a doubling effect. Okay, one thing I was gonna say to the folks is um, when you add delay on this, it's like adding delay after your amp to the PA. Yeah. It's not like, you know how when you've got a distorted amplifier and you put delay on top of it, it goes mm. damp, yeah. damp, <laughs> right? The delays know, get all yeah. fuzzed up, yeah. right? But these delays are the exact copies, if yeah. you want, of that. So yeah, let's go look at that. So in the delay, oh, look at that flashback. 2290. 2290, yeah, doesn't let's get any better like that. That. I don't want it to be like, shouldn't be a different sound just uh, just this is very short now this is like 
Can you try like chuckling between having it on and off just so we can kind of... This is, at this delay setting, this is almost a notch. Yeah. So we probably do, if you want to do a slap, we could do 100 milliseconds yeah, or something. Yeah, that might be too much, but let's try it. Yeah, okay, maybe like 80, 90. It's not on yet, right? Yeah, that's too much. And we'll turn it down. Is it, even the delay is too long? Yeah. Okay. Let's go down to like 50. Okay, that's a few seconds. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey, that's fun. <laughs> I can use that. Let's make that the hit button. Yeah. So hit on, oops, on everything off and off. So go, gank, go, gank, go. Cool. So one button makes everything come on. Yeah. So does this thing have an octaver as well? Yes, it does. Right here. I just loaded that one. Okay, oh. this is this style is a fourth down. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's pretty. Can you go to the fourth th down as well? I can do my little Steve Vai thing. Okay. Is that a fourth? Down? Yeah. That's a fifth up. That's too cool for school. Okay, the hit button, we don't want mod delay and that to come on. Let's put that under the reverb button, okay? Yep. Who uses reverb on that kind of sound? Mm -hmm. Not ever. Sorry, don't flame us. We, <laughs> we love reverb too, but... Okay, so what we're gonna do is the, the reverb button is now set to reverb. We'll set that to So you can actually change that per preset. Oh yeah. Oh, clever. So there it is. It's called shift. Yes, and I can see it. So we can turn that on and off. Okay. And, then, and it's the process of discovery. This is nice. We'll, we'll store it with that. Yeah, let's store it without that. Store it without that. might that. be a little bit excessive. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for, uh, so for the folks listening at home, the, the hit button is just the modern button. And then you've got your shift. And then add a little bit. And then... Wow. Who would have thought that a, a little vocal processor with yeah, a guitar yeah. multi-effect yeah. would sound like that? Okay, beautiful. Stored. That's number four. Okay, so let's... Now we made the uh, way over the top kind of yeah, yeah. metal rhythm, maybe even solo sound. Yep. Uh, let's make like the nice solo sound, like the... Ooh, that's... Uh, Oh, that's so creamy. in a different preset or in this one? In a new preset. Okay. Well, we did. We were um, favoriting a whole bunch of ones. Let's yep. see what the next one is. Uh, this is from Foo Fighters from one of their songs, The Pretend. <laughs> Let's go through some of the amp models. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I mean, you can tell that it's. And the last part, you might want to add a little talk, maybe. Oh, and that's already using the drive. So if you turn the drive off. So there's the, there's the warm overdrive, I guess. Makes a really big difference. I'll turn up the drive a little bit so the post gets in.
So that's kind of cool. There's a delay in there that's timed. It's also yeah. got modulation on the delay tap, but it also had the, the delay tone is megaphone. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, just different. And it's really nice because it doesn't mess with the lower frequencies no, 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 of no. what you're playing. So it's just a little. Yeah. Oh, we got a little bit of reverb on it too. That's okay. Yep. Oh, you want the woman tone? I don't need compression on that one. No, couldn't you have that? And that's with compression off. That's just dry. Our philosophies was to take it to a nice normal sort of uh, crazy range and yeah. then take it further. So you're going to compress it if you want. We, you know, with that sound. Oh. And this is the one where you can actually do fuzz. You know? That's almost too much. It's just insane. <laughs> it's it's so distorted it's so it's, compressed that it's just gone for yeah, level but it has that kind of you know it's <laughs> has a certain grit to it that's actually kind of it cool. has a certain uh, you probably wouldn't use it for it everything but you know for no i use if that you want to do that one like white love stripes ballads. <laughs> that one like oh, white yeah. stripes riff or something like that could definitely be cool. yeah. actually let's let's name this this is five this is five okay so let's go look at some of the amps here real quick i just want to show you because you were saying you want something here's this one um swamp tone oh. <laughs> This is the sort of dirty, broken kind of... There's quite a range of amps in here. It's not just like 10 different versions of a Marshall. Try to try. We can try that swamp tone thing. Sure. And then try taking the gain down a bit. It's designed to be farty, fuzzy. Yeah. One thing I want to explain to you is, you see there's there's all the amps, and then we get into these ones. These are the pedals, yeah. and in fact we've got a, a model of a TC Dark Matter in Good there. Good choice. These, are, these have no speaker simulator on them. Nope. These are to be used when you go to your amplifier, and your amplifier is actually... Yeah, or you use the speaker simulation. Yeah, I get it, yeah. Yeah, you could add speaker simulator to that, yeah. but people sort of go, oh, well, it sounds really cool as an amp, and then it just sounds bad yeah. like this. But, well, no, because you have to go into an amp yeah. with these ones. So you got your pedals. At the end here, we've got the five body res styles from Play Acoustic. Body res is the uh, de-quacking for your acoustic guitar. So you could have some presets for your acoustic guitar, say presets one to five for when you pull up your acoustic. Yeah. And then when you plug in your electric, you can go to the amp styles that we've been building yeah. here. So there's quite a lot of range there. Actually, let's see what it sounds like with your Les Paul. So if we were to turn it off, that's just the, the raw sound of the guitar. It's not designed to make an electric guitar sound like an acoustic. No. It's designed to make an acoustic guitar not quack like a duck. Okay, and then to go back to where we started. 
quite a difference. Oh, yeah, it's quite a difference in my shirt. Okay, to review, there's number four. And this is our clean one here. Oh, yeah. I don't want to switch these sounds now, but I'll just do this. Right. And then number three is our, what, super clean? The reason we didn't give them descriptive names is because we want you to search. <laughs> search through them and go, what does he mean by this one? It's not because we're lazy. No, nothing like that. Um, oh, you didn't play through this one. This oh, kind of cool. there we go. The octaver will make your guitar sound like a bass, too, if you want. And that works really well with the looper. So in the looper track, you can have the metronome going with a kick drum, and then you can play bass tracks with it. Here, do you want to try that real quick? Do we have time? So let's get a, uh, let's get a, uh, um, a metronome going. One, two, three, and go. Here we go. Okay, here's what we'll do. Something. We'll just we'll find another sound, and we'll we'll record that on B. Yeah. Oh well. Thank goodness we have oh. an all stop button. You can use that to practice with. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. As you can clearly tell from this. <laughs> <laughs> practice and have fun with because it's the band that will keep playing that, that tune over and over yes. while you twist off. Yeah. Tora, twist this has off. been fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of what it is, isn't it? It is. Yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> There's ladies present. So uh, this has been terrific. Thank this you for fun, inviting and, me over um, to Oahu's to do this with you. Yeah, and as you can probably tell, I had a lot of fun with this. Typically, it's a good sign for guitar players when they can't stop playing while another guy's talking. Yay. So, um, yeah, I like cool. the sounds in this. It's really cool. Okay, and don't forget, it's a guitar multi-effect with a full vocal processor as well. So, now you guys have seen all the features of Voice Life 3, but Tom actually has something new to show you guys. Here it is. What is it? This is the Voice Life 3 Extreme. It's got all the features of the Voice Life 3 that we just showed you including looping, voice effects, and guitar effects. But this also has effects automation, the ability to import up to 100 backing tracks, and the ability to record out to a thumb drive your performance. So now people who need backing tracks can actually bring in like bass and drums, and then play their gigs, and pre-record the on-offs of all the uh, effects changes, and then they'll execute automatically when you play them. And they can pull it back out again and rejoice at the brilliance of their performance afterwards, I guess. That's right, or the opposite. Yes. Go back and listen to, oh, I gotta start practicing some more. But anyway, this is uh, Voice Life 3 Extreme. Uh, they're both, Voice Life 3 and Voice Life 3 Extreme, they're both exactly the same under the hood except for the backing track, automation, and recording. Cool. Mm. See the tears on my face, I can feel your hands slip away I can feel the heaviness, I can see my family I can see the look in your eyes I can feel the hunger, I can smell the beer I can taste the salt, I can smell the cigarettes I can hear them, but not my name I can see dust in the air I am closer than before I could hear the words out, did I understand? I gave away my bags to the car with the man couldn't find my place, travel around forever And slept in days I can hear the phone ring from downstairs But I can't answer it I just sit outside and watch the sunset The ringing stops Ring again, ring again I will the phone and it rings again Gold plastic to my ear But it's not the voice I wanted But I am closer than before to reaching the end Oh God, my feet are sore I'm climbing this mountain I can 
Feel the corners of the glass, it's pussy, gets my fingertips, closed fists. I can see the clouds and whispers, frost and falls away. 